Welcome to Lesson 12, Exploring Creative Uses of Effects and Graphic Styles. So this is um, yet another poster. Um, you can see that there's some fill, like, uh, new, uh, like a musical paper, uh, the musical notes on the staff. We've got the piano keys, sort of a graphical element in the background. Um, You've got type on a path. You've got some 3D and some text isolation um, with the text effects key. The, uh, sorry, that's escaping me right now, the name of this. Um, but so you put in a fill. All of this is showing up if you look here in appearance. So this has two fills. This is the color and the texture you've got the color burn which is a this is sort of like the photoshop attributes being applied in what you can normally do with a pixel photo you're able to do with a illustrator um raster i mean a vector text so applying filters like color burn dodging um, multiply all of these type of filters. Um, there's a texture right in there, this paper texture. It's being multiplied and burned with the purple. So um, you see that there's two fills going on. So this purple, there's a setting for the opacity. Um, all of this is showing up in your layer drop shadow. So, um, I'll just do the trumpet and maybe fill a letter. Uh, this is quite a feat, this one. Um, if you have any trouble rendering 3D, just put something on a path. It doesn't have to be an exact match. Um, rendering times can differ for, for different people. Um, so the smart filters are key. You're not changing the underlying artwork is important to know. There's different types of effects. Um, you can you can use this as you would more playfully. Um, certain fills, transparencies, and more applying strokes you can always do. Um, but graphical styles being put onto typography is really a key here. So let's go ahead and work in the appearance palette. We're going to start very bare bones. We've just got the trumpet is on the trumpet layer. I've added the three because I am missing most of these fonts. If you're missing any of these fonts, this pink business shows that the font is missing. Go ahead and replace with something similar or fits, or if you have your creative cloud, it might be able to link to those. So some people may have trouble, some people may not. Um, so I'm going to add this fill for the paper. Um, take a add a new fill and add that to be the green right and then we have to set some change so these are what you would normally see in Photoshop between layers you can multiply between two layers but they would be the layers that would be here, right? Here it's sort of nested within the artwork over here. So let's say multiply. Let's zoom in and see what that means. Um, so it's taking a textured layer, right? And it's applying both the color and the texture. So let's look. Um, we could say color dodge. A lot of these are just going to white out. Color burn turns it into a yellow. So sometimes, and, and this happens in Photoshop too, sometimes you just have to do the change and see how it works. So does darken or multiply look better? I think multiply gives it a little more texture. So basically what you're doing here is adding a texture, which is one fill, 
or a pattern and then you could say add a new fill and you're layering on two things um, and then if you go in um, and you edit or adjust these you could really end up with some cool and interesting effects Let's get rid of this stroke. Um, maybe we could put something interesting in the stroke. Uh, it's not thick enough, I guess. Let's just get rid of it. Oh, I see we're not like selected. I do want to see if we could add something in there though even a gradient. See, that gives it a little something. So the colors are jumping to match that pa that gradient. I mean, I'm sorry, that um, pattern. So they're showing up some places and sometimes not. And that's a pretty cool, um, it matches a little bit. Uh, I'm just getting experimental here, to, totally off assignment. But um, I like it. So you can layer different effects and you can see here, um, this is supposed to be bigger and make it across the page. And when you do that, like vector art does with the ability to be postage stamped to side of a bus building, it's not giving us lower quality of what's inside here which is really cool because if I had just done that in Photoshop, I would have lost some of my quality. So we've got the lighter blue going to the green. And again, this part's not exactly in the book. I'm just playing. Um, we've got the pattern fill on the stroke, which you'd probably be able to see a little better had I made that wider. Um, and then it could just be, it's a little gaudy. It can just add little flecks of interest though. That's what it could do. Because it's sort of looking like hand drawing. Like at this point, there's no idea that this is a flower pattern like what you're seeing here. But you do have this sort of sketchy oil um, painting sort of tracing element to that. So that's really neat. So we've got the gradient going on. We've got the green to blue, which is part of that gradient that I added on that extra layer here. Um, we have the green, then we have the texture, and then the blue. That's blue to um, blue to transparency. And then same same difference. It doesn't matter if it's the piece of art or the letter. This guy, we're going to add a new fill. I believe it's the paper note paper. Like the notes on the page, then let's try this. Oh, and another thing is layer order. So this is getting double duty, this pattern here. So if you move these around, it can affect the way that they um, influence each other. Just like layers in Photoshop. You can also do an opacity here take that down a notch feeling like it's just not totally real somehow maybe burn darken oh, sorry it's it's like flipping uh, difference yeah Yeah, it's just turning it, it's disappearing. Anyway, so we'll just leave that. Um, just wanna see how these go, yeah, okay. So there's that, see it just seems too strong. Um, let's try moving this one. It's layer order that we've gotta deal with, or we could also, oops. Could also try playing with that. Let 
Yeah, it doesn't seem to be affecting it too much. So what does it look like over here? Oh, we've got lots of things going on. There's a little purple in it. Neat. See, these are the fun things that you can do. So this has purple, it has a luminosity, and it has the fill. We picked the right fill, so it goes fill, opacity is default, stroke is none, fill, 100% luminosity, and then opacity. Let's see if we can mirror that. So we've got no stroke. And we've lost our color here. We do need to sample that purple. It seems to be this color here. It's the one next to the green. I'm sure the instructions tell you this in the book. Um, so that one is luminosity, did it say? Luminosity. And there's probably an effect on that. Ooh. It's making it darker. See, that was the look and feel. I wasn't quite getting. I thought it was said 100. Sometimes squirrely to get these things to move. And I believe this thing was up there. Over that, so it's a little bit darker. Yeah, ours is not matching. Opacity default, so it goes lines, fill, fill. So our color goes to the bottom. And our color was 100, I think. It was default. And then this was luminosity. And that's where we're getting the purple bubbling through. So we have opacity default for fill. Fill, opacity default, and luminosity. Okay, so these should be matching. Again, that one um, it looks a lot cooler in layout than it does up front. Um, let me see here. Yeah, we do not have that dodge and burn that's going on. I don't see it. There's these little bubbles. Something else has been done to it. It's gotten some kind of a other treatment. There's another effect in there. Anyway, so like, uh, like the trumpet, you don't have to follow it exactly. And sometimes it's harder to. And um, it's mainly to get the point of how the tools are working and not necessarily follow it exactly out the window. It doesn't have to look exactly like that. Because um, my trumpet and this trumpet don't match. Um, but I like it. So, you know, there's differences going on there. We've used the tool, we've used the appearance panels, we've used the tools, and we've changed things. So again, it doesn't have to be exactly. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't.